raining outside, man. It was nice yesterday, and today it's all rain. But hey, welcome back. I'm here to tell you guys about uh, a little thing that maybe some of you guys are interested in. Now, I know it's, you know, no news that the doctor is back. And I'm talking about the one and only Dr. Disrespect, dude. He's back on YouTube. He was uh, in the, the one month of hiatus after being banned on Twitch. Without going into those details, he's back. What I wanted to cover today is something that he's doing that I thought about doing in my own streams for a long time. I just didn't really know how to do it properly and with my flair on it. Now, this kind of thing that Doc's doing right now is a pretty cool outro. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look exactly what we're gonna be trying to recreate today, which is not that hard. So stay tuned, buckle up. And this is Dr. Disrespect's outro tutorial. So I'm hoping that he's gonna be okay with me, you know, sitting here utilizing his uh, his past broadcast here. But this is Doc, we, we used to play games back in the H1Z1 days, but it's been a long time. This guy made a cool outro. I don't know. He, he has this good... It, it, the dog blows my mind sometimes, man. He has like a team behind him that really works to like push the next envelope, push the push the bar a little bit further than people are normally used to seeing. And this is something that was really cool and kind of unique. So I wanted to give you guys a little example here on what Doc's actually doing with the streams and maybe uh might interest you. Let's check this out. This is at the end of his broadcast. Uh, I think this is like his second broadcast back from being, uh, from being banned on Twitch. And now... His second broadcast after being on uh, YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got in Rogue Company. Understood the game. Loved it. And then we demanded from Rogue Company, give me an opportunity to design a map for the game. I'm laying in my waterbed tonight. So you can kind of see what he's doing here. He's going in between his outro Never video and back to his live stream. Now, world. normally to do this, you might swap to a, uh, you know, you might have two scenes. You might have your full cam scene. You might also have your, you know, scene with your outro playing. But this is all happening within one scene, I believe. I don't know this for a fact, but... At least you can get an idea of exactly what's going on here. It's cutting back and forth between his video. The audio is in sync with the uh, the video that's happening everything. I'm going to show you guys here exactly what he's doing. But it's it's a really cool feature. It's, it's something that's kind of smart. So props to Doc for kind of giving his stream a little bit of a movie kind of quality outro. Kind of rolling credits with his, uh, with his shtick and everything that he's doing here. It just works well. But you can kind of see, and uh, I'll link his channel down below, but that's Dr. Disrespect, and uh, he's been doing this for a long time. But I wanted to teach you guys how to do this yourselves. I tried to do this on DaVinci Resolve, and it was a little bit more complicated. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this using uh, a program like Adobe Premiere that has the capabilities and has the tools that I need to get the job done properly. I'm going to open up a, uh, an instance of Adobe Premiere and walk you guys through exactly what I'm going to be doing to uh, get this outro this somewhat similar. Okay, so uh, over here on the left-hand side, I got a couple things going for me. I got my sequence folder, I got my video folder, and my music folder. I always sort my bins of, and you should do this too, man. You should really think about trying to stay organized while you're uh, while you're making your your videos and whatnot. So, so if I really wanted to, I could make a new bin. We'll call this uh, project, and uh, we'll grab all these, throw them in the projects, and now we open up projects. We're gonna call this project Docs Outro, and then we're gonna go ahead and take all this, put it in here, put this in here. And now you can see it's just like a little list of, uh, you know, kind of situations. So if I wanted to go check this video out later on, if I want to go back to this, I can just open up this. And here we go. Here's all my files, uh, music and all that stuff. So we do have our, our video feed right here. I just took one simple thing. I thought, hey, uh, you know, I, I took a drone out a, a long time ago. So why don't I just go ahead and import that into a, uh, a sequence? So I went ahead and I opened it up into a sequence. It automatically converted it to a sequence of 2997. I guess I shot this at 2997 uh, as well as 4K. So this is a 4K video from Epidemic Sound. We do have this little uh, music track here. So that's our music track. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in down here. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and scrub through this and kind of find a couple segments here. Now, again, Dr. Disrespect's outro is very much like you know his music kind of builds up 
It jumps into a video, it jumps back to him, jumps back into the video, jumps back to him. So we need to do this utilizing what's called alpha transparency. Now, alpha uh, transparency is basically, there is no video, but there is a video being played. So much like when you see alerts in streams and uh, stuff like that, transparency is usually a way, it's almost like a window right so just imagine a window to nothing or whatever's behind it so if we have an alpha channel here which is just the black but if we export that as an alpha channel when we bring it into obs whatever scene i have up will be in place of this black video that's how it works so keep that in mind and let's go ahead and push forward here okay so i'm gonna do you guys don't really need to see what i'm doing here i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly edit this put this together real quick so give me a hot second as uh I put this together. Okay, so I put together this little simple edit here, and all it is is uh, I started off, you can see on the right-hand side. Now, wherever there is black, solid black, that is where it's going to be my face. Now, if I scroll to the very end, uh, you are going to see some, uh, some black here at the end, but the black actually is a color that I put right here. It's just a solid black image, and I'll get to why that is in a second. If we play the video, you can see it's, uh, it's playing. We got the music. We got the drone footage coming in and then over on the right hand side it'll be like activator and then after a few moments here uh we'll continue on here now it's going to show that i'm live this is where again i'm going to be live and uh on screen then it cuts back into the video feed and then again we go back into the live and i'm going to be talking to the chat a little bit here and then uh it'll wrap up and it'll start showing some credits here the end screen and uh, that's looking pretty good. And then we're going to fade out to black. And I don't want to fade to my face when it fades to black. I want to end the stream after that. So what I did is I took a little uh, a black solid here. I put it behind the video. So when it fades out of the drone footage, it'll fade into a black abyss. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so that way, instead of showing my face at the end, it's just going to show thanks for watching streaming Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to five or 10 30 to five and so that's it if i want to do anything else i could come in here and try to color correct some stuff okay so now we're gonna go ahead and set an in and out point here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the end of my clips hit out go to the very beginning make sure i'm at the beginning hit in i'm gonna go ahead and render this out so file i'm gonna export this now when you export the footage you want that alpha transparency and the only way to do that is through certain codecs video codecs and the codec i want you to select is animation and if, uh, as long as you're under the format QuickTime, you can leave it custom or whatever you want here. Scroll down, make sure to export video and audio. You come down here to the video codec. Now this is usually defaulted out to Apple ProRes or something like that or uncompressed, uh, but you wanna select animation. Now, after you do that, you scroll down, you're gonna see this thing called 8BPC plus alpha. Now you're gonna wanna select that and have that checked on. Uh, so not this one, but definitely this one. You select that and that's going to save the alpha transparency so that when your video is playing, it has a window there and it shows your face, not just a black screen. If you don't have that selected, you're going to have a black screen and it's going to not going to, it's not going to work. Make sure to select that thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it. We're going to call this doc outro. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and hit export. While this is exporting, just so you know, this file is gonna be pretty big. I'm talking maybe a gig. I don't know yet, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Now, the problem with that is when you're utilizing OBS and you're streaming or you're recording more videos and stuff like that, you are taxing your PC a lot as it is. Now, when you start to play a video on top of that inside of your OBS, it's using a lot of resources to play that big file and it might start chugging. The audio might start getting off sync and whatnot. And I had this problem last week when I tried to make this video using DaVinci Resolve, which didn't really go so well. This week I'm trying out uh, Adobe Premiere and it, it's working like a charm. So the file's gonna be big, but you can't really play it inside of OBS very well because it's such a big file, it ends up chugging your machine and most likely you might get a little couple frame drops here and there. Now. I have a beast computer and even then it's still struggling to play the files. Okay, so once this video is exported, uh, the file size is gonna be pretty big. So if I go ahead and minimize this and we go check out our file size, we're looking at 4.05 gigabytes. I'm talking, that is a big file, okay? And when you're playing that inside of OBS, it might freak out a little bit. So what you wanna do is use this thing, which I'll uh, I'll put in the description below, called WebM Converter. So WebM is amazing. I use it for all my alerts and everything, and it shrinks down file sizes insanely and it does a pretty good job at keeping the quality pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this, uh, this little thing here and it's a very simple layout for this tool called webm for abacas i don't know how it's just the name anyways i'm gonna take doc's outro here and uh i'm gonna go ahead and just drop it in 
and you can already see it wants to re-put it right back out to the desktop it's going to label it as webm now down here you can change the resolution to whatever you want it to be if you wanted to you could trim the video out i'm going to leave that as is and i'm going to go ahead and make the bit rate down here i'm going to place it as maybe 9,000 bit rate you know that's like on the high side of my streaming bit rate so i'm going to leave it like that i don't want the 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 file size to be too big so i'm going to limit this to about 100 megabytes and hopefully that ends up being about 100 megabytes uh, we'll find out so i want to also recommend that you turn on the keep the audio and that's going to bake the audio into the webm video so i'm going to go ahead and click that thing now there's also this feature here called enable high quality mode and i'm going to test out the two differences here and see which actually looks better but for now i'm going to leave it at 9,000 at 100 megabytes and I'm going to hit convert. So as you click the convert, uh, this thing will start to process the entire footage. You can see it's going frame by frame by frame by frame. And this might take a little bit. Now, this video was about 40 to 50 seconds. So you can see we're on second number four and it's slowly climbing to second number five coming up here. So we're on five seconds. So we're going to let this bake in as this thing ticks away. We're just going to sit back, let it do its course, let it run its thing, do its do all the things it needs to do to get it all pumped out. And uh, by the end, we will have a file over here called docsoutro.webm. And that file should be pretty small. Okay, so the file has finally completed. And you can see it says play result down here. So I could hit play and it'll open it up. And you'll uh, you'll see that it's working. Looks pretty good. Okay, so we're inside OBS. I did a little simple display capture here. And we're going to go ahead and add in the video file. But you don't even need to go through the whole process of adding and all that stuff. You can just simply drag this into your uh, your timeline. You can see it's already starting to go. You can see the live up in the top right switches over to the uh, the old screen and it's, it's looking pretty good. Now you can see that it is transmitting audio here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the audio so it's not peeking too far into the red there. Now the way to hear it is to go ahead and click on this little settings icon down on the uh, the little cog wheel here. You click on that, open up advanced audio properties. You find your uh, your source, and this is the doc outro. So I'm going to set this to uh, monitor and output. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit close. Now I'm going to also open up this source here because when this video ends, I need to decide what I want it to do. So when the video ends, I can either have it show nothing and go back to my cam, or I can loop it and have it continuously playing, playing, and playing forever. So I'm going to uncheck the show nothing when playback ends. That way when it ends, it ends on a black frame and then I can stop my stream without anybody seeing my face again. I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see it starts to play. You can hear the audio. The audio is playing. Sounds pretty good. It fades back to the uh, the desktop here, and you can see that it is still live. Uh, and you can see the little live thing right there. It goes back into this screen. It should allow me a moment to talk over the, uh, the video and the audio here. And then at the end, it's going to go back into my last little bit, play the credits, a big, a big flare of an ending. And then hopefully here at the end, it should just stomp on the black. Oh, yeah, 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 it did not, my guy. Okay, I may have made a little mistake here. So when this video file ends, I thought it was going to stay and be at that last frame of the video. I thought that's how it used to work, but for some reason, I can't get it to work no matter what I click here at the end. Unfortunately, what you're going to have to end up doing is when you're in the editor, you're going to want to extend the black a little bit longer than uh, you would normally want. That way you have a little bit of time to end the stream or switch scenes or something like that to go ahead and end your cast. So... Uh, make sure to add that a little bit of extra there because I didn't. And at the end, you can see it goes right back to the desktop. And I was trying to make that not happen. But because it happened, I just want to apologize. It didn't work the way I wanted. So because it didn't work the way I wanted, I'll try something different in the future. So let me show you exactly what this looks like and uh, my cam and my screen here. So let's say I'm ending my stream and I wanted to uh, change to a scene that had this thing enabled. Either I can click on the source or I can swap to a scene that already has it enabled. So Let's say I swap to the scene. So now it's playing. I'm getting a little excited. And you can see just how amazing this is to be your own kind of outro, act like the doc. You know what I'm saying? Like, this could be it, man. This could be your big outro, man. You could be the doc. You know what I'm saying? You can have that new cool outro, or maybe not. And then black screen. <laughs> black screen. And then you don't have any issues. Anyways. 
that's it. That's the video. I wanted to show you guys exactly how to do it. Hope it helps you out. Hope it kind of gets your uh, your creative minds working, man. You always got to think ahead at the next thing you can do to try to innovate. And uh, Doc did a really cool outro there. Uh, I'm upset that he got to it first. But anyway, it was cool to see it. And uh, I appreciate you guys sitting here and watching through this simple tutorial here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. The normal thing, dude, the more likes, the more subs, the more content, the more I want to keep pushing. And it just inspires me to make more content. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I'll put the links in the description below on uh, the tool that I use, the WebM converter. And uh, I'll link Doc's uh, channel down below just in case. Don't hate me, Doc, for using your content. I hope we're still pals. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, until next time. Peace out.